this jungle. The vast wilderness of giant lush foliage, of tropical birds and fierce animal life. The killer tiger, the cunning hyena, the deadly python that can crush a giant elk. The proud lion, a fierce lioness stalking a prey to feed her young. And the buzzards, the scavengers of the jungle, soaring lower, ever lower, eager to devour the dead or the dying. Kill or be killed, this is the law of the jungle. And here? What have we here? Who are these men? What can they possibly be doing in this cruel tropical wilderness? <laughs> Hey, I'll give you a little bit of 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 a Allez, my, I'm going to make a cunning. 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 I'm going who let the band No, Ava, Ava, Uncle Son. Uncle Son's son, 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 have yet discover who is these men? Well, not yet, Father. Look, Father. I think one of them is named Mervyn. Mervyn? Mervyn? Who said that? Which one of you is Mervyn? Oh, lady, you got us mixed up with two other guys. <laughs> My name is Nona. Hiya, Nona. I'm Duke Mitchell. How do you do? Where are we? What place is this? This is the most southern fringe of the Zamboanga group. The island of Cola Cola. Cola Cola? Sounds like a commercial for some bubble water. <laughs> How did we get here? Some of our men found you lying in the jungle and carried you here. Yeah, what are we on for carrying charges? <laughs> <laughs> get it, carrying charges, funny wine? Let's wrap it up here, lady. <laughs> oh, come in. How did you get lost in the jungle? Well, we were on our way to do a show for the boys in Guam. We were in a plane high over the Pacific. Sammy goes to look for the powder room, and he couldn't find it. I went there to show him. I walked through the wrong door. Like a dope, he follows me. Yeah, lucky thing we had on parachutes. Well, there we were, lost in a vast wilderness. We lived on wild berries and raw fish. Which is much better than the raw fish living on us. You have nothing to worry about. My father, the chief, will see that you're well cared for. Me? Chief Rockers. King of this island. Well, gee, you sure look super cheap. Super cheap, get <laughs> Hiya, Chief. I'm Duke Mitchell. This is my partner, Sammy Petrillo. You know, Mitchell and Petrillo, songs, dances, and snappy patter, half tuxedo, will travel. And not this far. Welcome to our island. We are honored. Our house is yours. Yeah, well, remind me to get some of the wallpaper in here, will you? Shh. Bungo, bungo. 
a pale Kolihau and Poi Poi. Ah, Klondike, Klondike. Tonight, we have great luau. To celebrate you, my people will sing and dance for you. Gee, that sounds great. We'll do likewise, I'm sure. I have this one, but you, you, shake it, kid, shake it, go, 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 Dad, go. Hey, cut it off. Oh, my, my friend, he's young, he's foolish. No doubt. Come. See that? You made the chief mad. That's okay. He wasn't a good dancer anyway. You know, someday I'm gonna let you fry in your own grease. Can you make it chicken fat? Maybe. Okay, banga banga. Says, when do you talk a native language? I just started today. Well, what did he say? What did he say? I don't even know what I said. Now don't hit me, Dookie. He hikes me in the head. Wonderful dance they're doing. My people are happy to entertain you. Well, Sammy and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I'd be more entertained if I had a pretty girl to talk to. And girl, why you do have all the meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes? Don't mind, my friend. He speaks in a vernacular. I do? Gee. Gee, I want a girl. Yeah, I'd like the girl. That's yeah, easy. I'll call my sister. You have a sister? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, we... She's got a sister and she's all for me, Doogie. Uh, lots of luck. Yes? I have very nice friends for you. Oh? See? The little one. <laughs> Doogie, and it's all for me. Ah! Doogie, no, no, no! Oh, I like. Come. This is Saloma. This is your sister? My baby sister. Saloma? This is Sam. Well, it's been nice knowing you. So long, Salami. Saloma like you. Saloma think you beautiful. Saloma needs glasses. You eat. I said I don't want to eat, thank you. You eat. No, I told you I don't want to eat. Hey, Dookie, I gotta get away from this blimp or she'll kill me. Well, you ask for it. I got it. When locked in the corner, do a routine. Go. Great. You eat. Oh, that's not good. Will you let go of the shirt? What are you trying to feed me for? You're not my mother. You can't feed me. Saloma, no falafa. Oh, no falafa. After all, I've been eating for a long time. I know how to feed myself. I've been feeding myself ever since I was a little boy. Do you understand? Gentlemen, welcome to Showtime at the Royal Taijin. And what a wonderful show we have lined up for you tonight. You know, as you know, this is my first visit to your beautiful island of Cola Cola. And I want to say that the climate is wonderful. It really makes a guy feel full of Pepsi. Get it? Cola, Pepsi? Pepsi, Cola? <laughs> Gentlemen of the jury, I'd like to ask the prisoner one question. Have you ever been up before, Judge Smith? 
I don't know what time does Judge Smith get up. <laughs> you want to hear a funny one? On the way over to the island, the fellow stopped me at a coconut tree and he said I hadn't had a bite for three days. Do you know what I did? I bit him. <laughs> what did he say? I'm cansado com lado do liceu. Aí eu cansado com os sapos. Oh, I have a million of them. Well, we listen to this one. Listen to this one. Did you take a bath this morning? Why? Is there one missing? <laughs> I thought I told you to wait in the truck. You dance with Saloma? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, enough. come dance. Left your motor running, kid. I don't want to dance with you. Leave going on, will you? You're, you're breaking the whole arm with you. Let go of the arm already. Saloma. Wait, leave go of me. Don't get physical. I can't leave go of me. Saloma. I'll go for Sosila. Don't hate me, please. <laughs> you think perhaps she is too rough? Probably doesn't know her own strength. Saloma. Hold her down by a beat down. Under Homa, Walla Tundra. My father says, do you wish to dance for us? Well, I don't dance, but I'll, I'll do eight or ten tunes for you. Well, that's fine. All righty. Okay, fellas, let's wrap it up. You. Now you. You. Do I want you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Indeed I do. Do I need you? Oh, I do I, baby? Of course I do. You know that I'm the one who found you. That's why I'm always hanging around. Same one that was shining over the Bronx, Brooklyn, Coney Island. But it is. Yeah, but it's so much bigger and brighter out here. You sure have a beautiful place to live in. I've heard about places like this, read about it. In fact, I've even seen them in movies. Never really expected to be here, though. Yes, we have everything here to make us happy. A calm, peaceful atmosphere. No noisy streetcars or automobiles. No rushing around in and out of subways. No smoky factories smudging up the air we breathe. Say, how come you know about these things? And how come you talk like a college girl? Perhaps it's because I went to college. Come again? I was sent to your country to be educated. Someday I will be queen of this island. My people would like their queen to be smart. Well, what do you know? Daddy! You know, I kind of hate to leave this place. Then why go? Huh? Well, do you have to go? Well, we're part of an entertainment group. We're due to entertain the boys on Guam. In fact, we're overdue. 
How do we get off this island? Do any ships stop here? Oh, yes. A ship stops once every two months. Oh, we'll have to do better than that. Perhaps Dr. Zabel can help you. Dr. Zabel? Yes, he's the only white man on the island. Well, how come we haven't seen him? Where is he? He lives on the other side of the island. He's a scientist working on an experiment in evolution. He's very clever, and we are in the midst of a series of... Did you of... say we? Yes. You see, he hired me as his assistant. Oh. Tomorrow I shall take you to him. He'll be very glad to see you both, I'm sure. Oh, great. Hey, no. No, Gay. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you had that away. Run for your life! Run for your life! Go on, get out of here, run for your life! Maybe I should run for mine too, Mo. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, pardon me. see me home. That's the custom of the island. No kidding. Yes, that's right. Well, there's a switch. What other customs do you have? Oh, many quaint ones. I shall tell them to you sometime. Well, it'll be peachy. I must go. It's getting late. Good night. Wait a minute. You can't take a guy home and then leave him with just a good night? No. No. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Walt, but you didn't have to go out of your way. Shut up, Cuckoo. It's a custom of the island. Right? Right. Well, we better go. Until tomorrow. Come, Saloma. Good night, my little one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away. Ah, get out of here. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, wait for me in the glove compartment, will you? Well? Well, what? Uh, well, aren't you going to carry me across the threshold? Get out of here. How much further do we have to go? Oh, not very much. Boy, now I know how Livingston felt when he couldn't find Stanley. You have that wrong. It's just vice versa. Vice what? Vice versa. Livingston didn't find Stanley. Stanley found Livingston. This is a vice versa? That's right. What are you looking for? I expect two tons of army to come out here charging after me at any minute. Oh, don't worry about that. She won't. None of my people venture very close to the castle. It is forbidden. Castle? What castle? The castle where Dr. Zabo lives and works. Well, how come you go there and work? I don't share all the beliefs of my ancestors. Where is this castle? There it is. Cozy little shack. I wish it was on 42nd Street and Broadway. 42nd and Broadway? What kind of a crack is that? Well, if it was on 42nd and Broadway, we'd be standing in front of the automat. And boy, could I use a good cup of coffee right now. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Duke. Hey, 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 wait for me. This looks like Death not only took a holiday, but he got a hangover from taking it. Oh, this looks like Sing Sing. I gotta get out of here. What are you worrying about? Well, I ain't worried. 
Just wish I was back in Brooklyn playing the low he's picked him, that's all. Good morning, Chula. Morning. Tell Dr. Zabo I am here, and I bring two white visitors. I tell Master. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. All right. Hey. Master. Now, what is it, Chula? Why do you disturb me? The girl, she is here. And when does she have to be announced? She has two men with her. White men. White men? Who are they? I not know, Master. Come on, Doogie, let's go. The doctor's probably busy, and besides, I forgot something at the hut. What? I forgot to stay here. I'm getting out of here. Relax, Cuckoo. You want to get off this island, don't you? Sure, I want to get off the island. Well, the doctor's going to help us get off, isn't he? Yes. Dr. Zabe was a very brilliant man. Brilliant man, huh? Anybody who lives in a creep joint like this must be a moronic idiot. Good morning. I'm Dr. Zaber. Welcome to my creep joint. Oh, gosh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Idiot. I didn't mean to call you creep joint a creep joint. Oh, I think nothing of it. Doctor, I would like you to meet my friends. Yes? Hi, Doc. I'm Duke Mitchell. It's my partner, Sammy Petrillo. We were on our way to do a thing. Well, I know you from someplace. I don't think so. Hey, Doobie, come here. I think I know where you know this guy from. Where? Ain't this the fellow that goes around with the hands and the faces, biting people on the neck and wearing capes? You're crazy. Watch out for bats! Wait a minute, I'll prove it to you, watch. Dr. Zaber? Yes? Would you do me a favor? What is it? Make a face. What? Thanks. See? What did I tell you? Now go over and apologize. I ain't gonna do it. Come on, you embarrass me. Go over and apologize. Come on. Dr. Zaber? Yes? What do you go around scaring little children for? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Don't mind him, Doc. He thinks you're the guy that goes around biting little kids on the neck, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Doctor, my friends fell out of a plane and landed on the island. They would like to get back to civilization. I told them you could help them. That's possible. Thank you, Doctor. It may take several days to make arrangements. In the meantime, please. Accept my hospitality. Allow me to furnish you with suitable clothes. Gee, thanks, Doc. But no capes, huh? Oh. <laughs> Chula! Yes, Master. Take this man to my room. Yes, Master. Pick out anything you want from my wardrobe. When you have changed, Chula will bring you to the study. Follow Chula. Come. A most interesting cranium. Strange, but interesting. Really think so? Oh, what a charming compliment. It was very thoughtful for you to bring this man here. I'm sure I can help them. I was hoping you would. I would do anything for you in my power. Please, Dr. Zabor. I'll be in the laboratory, doctor. Why do you treat me so coldly, my dear? Do you know I love you? I want you. Now, what is wrong? Why do you not accept my love? Please, Doctor, must we go over that again? Yes, we must. Certainly nice of you to fix us up like that, Doc. Yeah, I always wanted a Palm Beach suit, thanks. Very happy to do it. Quite a drugstore you got here, Doc. This is my laboratory. Laboratory? No kidding. Hey, Duke, look. Looks like the monkey house in the Brock Zoo, doesn't it? <laughs> Only smaller, of course. They are my guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? They look like monkeys to me.
They are monkeys, silly boy. They are so monkeys. Certainly they are monkeys. But they are also guinea pigs, for the reason that I use them in my experiments. Do you understand? Yes. Now. <laughs> hey, Doc. What's this? Streptococci. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, streptococci. <laughs> Don't mind, my friend. He has a one-syllable brain. I can see that. What kind of experiments are you making, Doctor? Oh, I'm performing a series of experiments in evolution. Evolution? What's evolution? Scientists have proven that all living things originated in a process of evolution. They also know that there is a growth force that tends to make genetic changes physiologically and morphologically. Chimpanzees and gorillas are the highest members of the ape family and are the ancestors of man. Darwin, in his provisional hypothesis of pangenesis, assumes that every living cell contains a gemule, which is a hypothetical granula. I have found the chemical formula that simulates the growth force. And when nature takes years, I can, in a matter of hours, make a complete embryonic metamorphosis, both physiological and morphological. Do you understand? Well, uh... Sure. What? Yeah. You mean you understood him? Uh-huh. What'd he say? What'd he say? Well, he was just trying to tell you that due to the great lines of cerebrum, which have been perplexed by the fact of where the last type of dog had its first origin, you cannot confuse tyrannical and spasmodic conditions when it is never a satellite of inconvenience. Shut up! No embryonic physical morphosis. Understand it? Memphis, period. Master, Pepe Bordeaux here to see you. In conclusion, I'd like to add that if you took the embryonic metamorphosis, the only thing... Shut up! <laughs> What's he so mad about? Oh, Ramona isn't mad. She just wants to play. Come, I'll show you. Well, Ramona, do you like our friend? Do you want to come out? No, don't let her out. Don't let her out. Oh, Ramona's a pet. She's very tame. Watch. All right, Ramona. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Ramona. That's a good girl. Come on out now. Come on. That's a good girl. I want you to meet my friend. Shake hands with Dookie. Shake hands. Hi, Ramona. Good girl. And now I think I want you to kiss Sam. No, no, no. Get her out of here. Get, I don't want to, no. I don't, I don't want to. No, no, get her out of here. Aw, she won't hurt you, Sammy. <laughs> you know something, Dookie? What? It's a little like a raging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe has come for some acid for his batteries, Nona. Very well, Doctor. Come on, Ramona. That's a good girl in the cage. That's a good little girl. All right, Pepe. Thank you. This is Pepe Bordo. Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Pepe. Hi, Pepe. How are you, Mr. Bordo? Uh, Pepe is representing the law on the island. Oh, a cop, huh? As you call them, a cop. My friends are from America. How did you get here? There has been no boat for months. Oh, we just dropped in. <laughs> <laughs> the parachute is from a plane. Oh. Pepe has the only means of outside communication on the island, a small wireless outfit. Gee, maybe you can get us off this island, wireless some passing ship or something. Yeah, you know, Morse code. What does that mean? Well, my transmitter only carries to the neighboring island, a little over a hundred miles. But some ship may pick it up, I shall try. Oh, thanks a lot. Gee, that'll be peachy. See you are, Pepe. Oh, thank you. And thank you to the doctor. My pleasure. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Same. Good night, you too. And don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I see you to the door. <laughs> wow, it'll be great if we can get a ship to stop here, won't it? Sure will. Sooner the better. Gee, Nona, why don't you tell us there was a wireless outfit on this island? I, I just didn't think, I guess. Well, if the ship stops here, we can go right out to Guam. Gee, honey, what's the matter? Nothing. Come on, baby, don't feel that way. Come on, baby, smile. 
getting awful sticky around here. What are you on? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's pretty cute, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't like the way that Dr. Zaber looked at you a couple of times tonight. And do you know something? I don't think Dr. Zaber liked the way you looked at me a couple of times tonight either. Well, it's just too bad. I don't know if I like the idea of living there or not. Why not? Well, it's too far from the village. And you. But I'm there every day. Yeah, but you're always busy. You can always take me home at night. Well, I guess that'll have to do until I can think up something better. I shall have my father invite all of you to dinner some night soon. Would you like that? I can hardly wait. <laughs> Anything else, Master? No. Go to bed. Good night, Master. Good night. Funny thing. He knows I'm afraid to be left alone. Oh, I wouldn't think of letting you go home alone. I'll see you home. Well, thank you very much, but wouldn't Sammy like to come along? Oh, no, Sammy wouldn't like to come along. Sammy's tired. Sammy's tired, Sammy's tired. How does he know if I'm tired? Come to think of it, I am a little tired. <laughs> That you, do. It's about time you got home. Why, well, still, will you go to sleep? Cut it out, will you go to sleep? Hey, Duke, what's with the Angora patch? get up here. Come on, you gotta go back to your cage. Come on, Alamona, let's go. Ah, baby, come on. What are you doing with Ramona? What am I doing with Ramona? Are you kidding? I'm upstairs sleeping in my own bed, and very peacefully, mind you. Next thing I know, this is there me right in the kitchen. All things very ambiguous. Take her back in her cage. What? Take her back in her cage. Oh, right. All right, Ramona. Now it's time to go Betty by. Get into your cage. Oh, no, you know. You're not going to lock me in again. All right, but we'll have none of that tonight.
Now what do you want? Oh, you want I should sit down and rock you to sleep, huh? Oh, okay. Come on, Ramona. Up we go. And over. rock a -bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, cut that out now, Ramona. You gotta go to bed. The cradle will rock. Do I want you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Indeed, I do. Do I need you? Bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will Boy, what a light. What a moon. Can reach right up and touch it. Well, good night. Sammy in bed? No. Still in the laboratory. In the laboratory? What's he doing in there? <laughs> Putting Ramona to bed. Babysitting with a chimp? This I gotta see. Good night, Coco. Chief Rock is honored to have Big Doctor visit his humble abode. And how goes the scientific work? Good, I hope. Huh? Oh, yes. Fine, fine. Everything is progressing satisfactorily. That is good. Mm, this is great. Try this. Hey, I like that. Hey, Duke, get a load of that, will ya? Does he sleep with that thing on? <laughs> you eat. Look, I told you 40 times, get out of here, not to feed myself. You gotta eat to grow fat. Get out of here! Get out of here! I know how to eat my own food! Duke, will you make us stop already? Fight your way out of it, kid. She outweighs me. <laughs> You get two cents back on it. Let's give it a hey.
happy about? I was just thinking. I had to fall out of a plane to meet you. <laughs> Baby, when we get back to the States, we're going to have a big wedding with all the trimming. But darling, my father will probably wish me to be married here with the full tribal ceremony. Okay, okay. We'll get married in a car bond by a motorman, if you want. Just so it's you. This belonged to my great-great-grandmother. In your country, it is the custom for the man to give his sweetheart an engagement ring. Here... This is the custom. Where'd you learn that tune? That used to be my favorite tune in college. No kidding. That's right. Well, it's one of the tunes in our act. Really? It was only part of the game you played. Your smile only added life to your masquerade. I'll be more than willing to give my heart. Just like a fortune teller, I take your hand. But only misfortune beckons at your command. You promise a future bright with the early dawn. But when I awake tomorrow, Am I waiting in vain? May I kiss you again? Please don't hurt me or ever desert me. Am I too late? Too soon? Five bit doctor. Yours. My dear Chief Rackers, I thank you for your hospitality. But it grows late, and I have much to do tomorrow. Good night. My pleasure, you can. Good night. Many kisses. She talk marriage. She give boy necklace. Very serious. Very interesting. Very interesting. Chula? Yes, Master. Open the cage. All right, open it. Pick it up. 
Like gorilla, no, no, I think not. I think not. Master, she is back to little monkey. What is wrong? Nothing is wrong, Chula. Nothing. Now I can change a man into a gorilla. A man to a gorilla. Not me, master. Not Shula. Please. No, Shula. Not you. Good morning, Shula. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I'm late, Doctor. Perfect. You're right, my dear. I slept late myself this morning. I have a surprise for you. strong enough. It worked, but it wasn't strong enough to hold. What did you say, Doctor? It wasn't strong enough. I thought I... Nothing in my idea. Good morning, Ramona. Come and shake hands. How are you today? Oh, I forgot to bring you something. When are we going to get out of here, Duke? How should I know? Yeah, fat like you care. You're happy here. You got Nona. After all, where are you going to find a Nona in the Bronx? You know you got something there, chum? Me? A two-legged blimp's got me crazy. I nearly froze to death last night in those trees trying to get away from her. Imagine me trying to do a Tarzan. I ain't got the bill for it. <laughs> well, I'll go look up this guy, Pepe. See if he's contacted any ships. You want to come along? And run into Salami? <laughs> no, thanks. All right. Oh, try to keep out of Ramona's cage, will you? Very funny, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. Keep out of Ramona's cage. You think I am an idiot or something? Hiya, baby. <laughs> so early in the morning? <laughs> Well, I'm on my way to see Pepe. We gotta get back to the States. I'll go with you. All right. Onona. Yes? I need you in the lab. Very well. You'll never find Pepe's place by yourself. Go to my father. He'll get you a guide. All right. I'll see you later. Good morning. Hi, Pop. Good morning. Well, how are you today, my little anthropoid? Anthropoid? Where'd I get that one? 
Oh, well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How about a little strip the cockeye? Strip the cockeye! Never mind that. When you get through with that, will you make me a morphid? I think that will be all for today, Nona. Now, why don't you take our guests along with you to the village to meet your friend, Duke? All right, Doctor. Come along, Sammy. Very good. First, we'll make sure he does not come to until we're finished. There. Put him into the cage. Take off his clothes. Remember, Noni, you promised to protect me from Suami. You mustn't be afraid of her. She's only a baby. Yeah, baby elephant. Hey, look, funny thing grow on these trees out here, don't they? Why, it's my necklace. Yeah, that's right, the one Dookie had on. I wonder how it got here. He's awful careless with his jewelry. Don't tell him we found it. I want to tease him about losing it. Make him worry a little before I give it back. There's him right. That's it. Remember, Nomi, you promised. No, Saloma. Nunca, Pasca, nunca. Just a little? No, a little. Oh. Did our father supply Duke with a guide to go to Pepe's? Duke not come here. Sure? Not sure. He must have gone to find Pepe alone. That's bad. Doga! Oslo! Oga Salo nunca bother con nada con Pepe. And go sad on go out on the flower pepe. What do you call it? To look for Duke. Good. And hurry. Right now, now. Let's go back to Dr. Zayboy. He may have turned back looking for this. All right. Come on. Me go too. No, Saloma. No, no, a thousand times no. No, no, a thousand times no. Nona will prefer you to me. Suppose he ain't here. Then what? Then he must be lost in the jungle, and we better go find him before it's too late. Dookie! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Maybe he's hiding. Go! Hide his clothes in there. And put Ramona in there, too. Oh, 
We can't find him. He must be lost in the jungle. Some of my people are searching for him. Sammy, I think we'd better go back to the village. Not me. I'm tired of chasing around. I'll wait here. Well, well, so long, Ramona. And don't take any wooden bananas. <laughs> Chula, if you should return, bring him to the village. Yes, master. Let's go, dear. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say, Ramona? Well, well, wait, wait, what are you trying to do, Ramona? I don't understand you. What? with the 
Friday and stuff. Now let's go upstairs behind and go and can figure this thing out. <laughs> They have not found Duke. No, he not come to my place. We must find him, Father. Halimar, Halimar, get that hit. Pull it, Father. Oh, Father, something has happened to him. We will find him. Pull it, my Kiki. I'm sure he's safe, my dear. Father, we've got to find him. Hey, I. When you were human, you did all the thinking for the both of us. Find him to have to get out of. And with nothing but my poor little brain to help us. And don't look at me, will ya? Oh, he's to change it back again. What if he hasn't got the combination? Oh, you they. Oh, don't cry, Dookie. Just think what a sensation will be when we get back home. I can see it all now. Sammy Petrello and Duke Mitchell. The singing gorilla. I will kill him. We may even play the palace. I know not. They find Duke. <laughs> for real, they find him. <laughs> Everybody looks for him. They find him honest. <laughs> Don't cry, my child. Master. It's about Duke. No, my dear. Ramona is, uh, uh, loose. She's dangerous. If she comes here, you have my permission to kill her. Look, don't worry. We can get a nice apartment near the Bronx Zoo, and you can go over to the monkey house and visit any time you want. <laughs>
Tuki. Tuki, this, this is you over here, ain't it, Tuki? This is you, ain't it, Duke? Oh, come on, Dookie, tell me it's you, will ya? <laughs> Dookie, Dookie, please. Tell me it's you, will ya, Duke? Oh, come on, sing. Dance, do something, will ya? Do I love you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Bye, Gavalt! my dear. Oh, no, no! Step aside. No, no, Duke, Duke, what are you nuts? Come on back, Dookie. Sammy. Sammy. Duke. Duke, I don't want to die, Duke. I'm too young. I have too much talent. I don't want to die. Come on, wake up, will you? Let's go, wait. Come on. Come on. Duke. Duke, you're not a gorilla anymore. Gorilla? What are you talking about? Where am I? Where are you? You're in our dressing room of the Jungle Hut, in Passaic, New Jersey, and we're on next. Let's go. Come on. Boy, what a dream. Hurry up. Straighten up. Come on, will you? Come on. I'm sharp, dude. How are you going? Ah. Hello, Dookie. Hi, baby. How'd it go? Sensational. What a crowd. We really killed them. Really? Good luck, honey. Chief Franco's. Hot work, huh, Pop? Oh, yeah? You're not kidding. Bye-bye, baby. -bye, Bye. Coco, come on. Watch it, Bob. Watch it. Peppy. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Get, 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 get,
What kept you? Oh, Doogie, the most awful thing happened. And you'd better get some laughs this time, or you'll be collecting unemployment insurance. Dr. Zaymore! What's the matter with you? Oh, Doogie, I just saw everybody in my dream. Chula, Peppy, and that's the guy that says, what an interesting cranium right over there. Well, uh... And now, ladies and gentlemen, those two fireballs of fun, Duke Mitchell and Sandy Petrillo. Come on, Duke. Come on, break it up. Come on. Gee, you're not so bad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Doogie, Doogie, look. There's a new art bird. A new owl bird? Yeah, don't you know what a new owl bird is? No, what's a new owl bird? That's a bird that lays square eggs, then he goes... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Playboys. Do I love you, oh, my do I? Indeed I do. Baby, 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 of course I do. 